Six weeks after losing his job over a new claim of inappropriate touching of students, former Yuba City coach and teacher Jim Whitaker is being sued along with the district and a former superintendent. It's meow. His mustache like grew up the side of my ear and he was like, I'm gonna make sure you pass this class. And then he punched me on the way up. And that was the most uncomfortable, like, you can still hear it, you know? It just freaks you out. Pantera Friedley is one of many who have accused Whitaker of touching and intimidating them over the past 20 years. Many of those cases have been reported to the district and ignored, according to the lawsuit. Lawyers for Whitaker's latest accuser, who is just 14, say their client would never have been hurt if the district and past and present superintendents had taken the accusation seriously. We spoke to Whitaker's attorney as well. Take a listen. I'll let them answer for themselves as to why they didn't perform their duties as mandatory reporters, as to why they condoned, authorized, and ratified his conduct. Um, but as I said earlier, we believe that they are complicit. I would probably bet money there's nothing to corroborate any of those allegations. So yeah, they, they sound good in the lawsuit, but those people have to come forward and they have to testify to be subject to cross-examination, and then we'll see how well they hold up. The current superintendent, Doreen Osumi, would not comment on this case, but did release this general statement, quote, our district has a very clear and very strict policy in place related to any conduct that calls student safety into question. It is our policy and our expectation that any such conduct uh, may be reported immediately and acted on decisively. And that of former stock.